Never can get that right. Hey guys, it's G2 again with Caldwell Banker. Fix the collar, right? Um, and I'm, uh, uh, hello, Tam's life. I, I, <laughs> hey, Alicia, you are going to just roll on out of your chair when you hear what I'm going to tell you. Uh, I, hey folks, just in case you don't know, I'm G2 Verado with uh, Caldwell Banker Residential Brokerage. I'm a real estate agent here in Phoenix, Arizona. And I, I, no, I normally scope sometime around noon, but I just got off the phone with, <laughs> I just got off the phone with a major lender. And I called because I wanted, it's actually our, the, the lender that has a loan to our mortgage. And I um, called because we changed our insurance company, our homeowner's insurance, from one company to another. And we got a significant break in the, in the policy. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I did that last month. And, and, and <laughs> well, first, let me, let, let, let me introduce myself. I'm G2 Verado. I'm a real estate agent here in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, my wife and I have been in this industry nearly 30 years. We've done short sales back in the 80s when the savings and loan disaster occurred. We did short sales. And we still do short sales all the way, uh, even currently today and uh, done hundreds of them. And, and we've talked with, with lenders uh, ac across the country, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, regularly. So, but the reason I'm stumbling is because I'm still reeling from what I just, the conversation I just had. It is like off the hook, goofy, crazy. Uh, hello from, looks like Russia. Hello, Russia. Uh, anyway, so, so we changed... We changed our, our insurance company, our homeowner's insurance company, last month. And when I... No, it wasn't people's mortgage. It wasn't... Yeah, but they are the best. No, this is actually a servicer. It's a major servicer. Uh, and I'm, I'm not going to call them out, but you're, you're just going to have to... You're going to just laugh your fannies off when you hear this. So we, we change our insurance company... Uh, we get a pretty big reduction in our insurance policy, our homeowner's policy, and my payment should go down. So this month, when we made our mortgage payment, it was still the same as it was for last month. So I called the, the lender and asked them, hey, we changed our insurance policy. How come the payment's still up there? And the young lady that, well, first of all, when I called, uh, my first call was reaching the Philippines. Now, I have nothing against the Philippines, but when I began my my dialogue with them, thanks for the hearts, folks. And by the way, if you're if you're in America and and you um, you own real estate or have buy bought real estate or want to buy real estate, uh, 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 share this broadcast because this is going to be really a hoot. It's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, on a uh, on an iOS device, you uh, swipe up. On a on an Android device, you swipe uh, left to right. I think that's right. No, it's left to right on, on an IO, iOS device and up on an Android. So anyway, so uh, so so I, I I make the phone call, and 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 my first contact is with a person in the Philippines. So I thought, what the heck? I'll go ahead and, and try this. So I hello there, boss. I, uh, I I begin my dialogue. And listen, we. Had we changed our insurance policy, my premium is still uh, is lower now. My payment was still high. How do I fix that? Well, he really didn't understand what I was saying, so I asked him to transfer me, for me to uh, transfer me to a technician in America, in the U.S. And he said okay. So I waited on the phone for about three or four minutes, and I got transferred to another person in the Philippines. And I thought, what the heck? I'll give it another try. So I gave it another run. So with the same results, no, uh, no, no, uh, it's going to get better, Alicia. You need to hang in there. You need, you need, to, this is going to be, this is just going to be so hilarious. So I asked to get transferred again to the United States. This time I waited for probably four or five minutes because I'm a very patient person and I get transferred. And this time I get, I do get to the United States and I'm greeted by a young girl whose name is Dominique and then an ID number. They, they never give you their last name. It's always their first name and an ID number. It's a secret code. It's like they're James Bond's assistant. So anyway, so I get transferred, and I can tell it's a, it's a young person, a, 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 young, a young adult. 
and I begin the dialogue. We changed our insurance policy. My uh, uh, and premium is my, my premium went down, but when I made my payment, it's still high. And she says, "Oh no, no, let me back up." So I asked, I said, "And what is your name?" And she says, "It's Dominique." I said, "Fine." And your last name? Uh, well, I have an ID number. I said, "Okay." So your ID number is? She says, "Let me put you on hold." Okay. So at that point, I know, I know that we are. Um, hello, boss. I know that we are talking with somebody who's probably just begun working for this company. So that's a Don't worry. So I, uh, uh, I wait, and she comes back, and she says, okay, my ID number is, and she gives me her ID number. So it's Dominique ID number, and that's fine. And I said, Dominique, um, uh, while we're on the phone, I also want to make sure that we... Um, uh, uh, get a loan modification package sent to us because I've got a, 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 an adjustable rate mortgage and I would like to um, get my arm converted to a conventional loan because now the rates are going to tick up. Um, I don't want to be writing that, that bigger rate. And she said, what is, actually I said my, my loan is an arm. She said, what's an arm? Now I'm talking to the, to the lender, right? So I, I um, yeah, good call, yeah. So I said, um, do you know what an arm is? She said, no, not really. Okay. Now this is, I'm, I've called in to the servicer of my mortgage. She didn't know what an arm was. No. So I explained what an arm was, that it, an arm is an acronym for adjustable rate mortgage. She said, well, what does that do? So then she puts me on hold and, and she comes back and she says, okay, I found it. And she's reading what the definition of an arm is. And I thought, oh, this is gonna, this is gonna be just incredibly great. So uh, she, she ultimately she sends me the package to uh, so I can convert out of the arm into a conventional loan. Uh, but, but uh, don't pay your payment. Yeah, no, I do pay my payments. Um, <laughs> uh, so, so, but, but wait, it gets better. It gets hilarious. So we go down this road and. Um, I'm, I'm uh, talking about my, my, my payment. It's, it's higher now, still reflecting the old mortgage, the old home, uh, homeowner's insurance policy. And she says, well, I need to transfer you to the insurance department. I said, okay, that's fine. You can transfer me. I said, but before you leave, <laughs> I said, before you leave, I, I, I want to know, uh, you, you, you're just going to, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna enjoy the hell out of this. So, I said yesterday I had a. Let me back back up. Yesterday, my wife and I had a meeting with a social media um, uh, expert, a young man who uh, does a lot in the social space. He does a lot of uh, video, and we met with him. We got talking about where the millennials are, where the uh, uh, Gen Xs are, Gen Ys are, where the where the um, uh, baby boomers like myself are in the social space. And, and, uh, and he concluded that today Gen X, Gen Y are really in the Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter space, and, and folks my age and maybe just a little bit younger are still in the Facebook space, and that's okay. So, I'm on the phone with this young lady in, uh, in Texas, and I said to her, I said, well, let me ask you, Dominique, um, how long have you been in the real estate space? You're now working for this... Uh, this um, uh, financial institution. I said, how long have you, did you do this? Uh, did you uh, jump into the real estate space, the mortgage space right out of college? She says, no, I was going to go to college. Can you transfer me to this story? <laughs> end of the story. No, 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 no. I can't transfer to the end of the story because it's going to be, if you're an American, you're going to enjoy the hell out of the end of this story. So I asked her, Ed, are, did you, did you get into the, the mortgage space? out of college. She said, no, I was going to go to college, but my folks kept pressuring me, so I didn't go, and I, um, I'm now working here. I said, okay, so when did you come to work? She said, um, well, I'm not really sure, but I, I finished high school three years ago. She said, I'm 20 years old. I said, oh, I said, well, let me ask you a question about the social space. I said, do you use um, do you find yourself using Snapchat or Instagram or Twitter more, or are you on the Facebook space? She says, well, I use all three. I said, okay. But here's, here's, here's the fun piece, here's the funny piece, and now I'm at the, I'm at, I'm at the punchline of the reason I'm doing this scope. 
So I said, well, let me ask you another question. I said, uh, can you tell me who won the New Hampshire primary last night for the Democrats? She said, primary? I said, yes, the New Hampshire primary for the, New, for the Democrats. She said, yes. Uh, I, I, I said, yes. She said, no, I don't, I don't really do much with politics. I said, okay. I said, well, uh, do you know what a primary is? Uh, no, not really. I said, do you know who's running? Uh, no, not really. I said, okay. I said, well, let me ask you another question. Wait a minute. It's getting better. I said, let me ask you another question. I said, do you know who the Secretary of State of the United States is? And she said, uh, no, I really don't know. So I was, I was holding, just holding in my, my chuckle. And yeah, it, and she's, I don't know if she's going to vote. That would, be, that would be scary, wouldn't it? So then I asked, then I asked, wait a minute, it's coming. I asked... Do you know who the Vice President of the United States is? And she said, no. And I said, well, do you know who the President of the United States is? This 20-year-old young lady working for a financial institution answering questions for me about my loan. Nice girl, very nice girl. But no, she didn't know who the President of the United States was. So that's very worrisome for me as we look across the landscape of our youth. Now we've seen a lot of, a lot of uh, youth on television going to the caucuses and the elections and things of that such, but I gotta tell you, I will bet my bottom dollar that dominantly you go out on the street, and I think I'm gonna do that this weekend, go out on the street, find random young people and ask some very simple elementary questions. I was, when, when I got off the phone, I was just, my wife and I were laughing, laughing our fannies off. Um, and I just, I, 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 I just don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. <laughs> um, I, I did see an email come in and I did get my, uh, and my uh, uh, modification package, so I'll be working on that. But if 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 you're Marco Rubio for president, maybe um, I'm not talking politics here. I'm just talking about the uh, this this. I had to put this on a scope. I had to. This this was just. I mean, I'm talking with a young lady, and I said, "Do you know? Do you know who won the?" Uh, 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 Democratic or Republican New Hampshire primary and she didn't even know what a primary was and she didn't know who was running. Yeah, I'm sure I, I called in and I got transferred to the United States. Now, I know she was in America because she, she sounded American. She was in America. Uh, but just, just wild, just absolutely wild. So what do you guys think? Is is this something that you think is is going to? Don't make excuses for the young. Well, I I'm not trying to make excuses. She has her job because she can answer the phone and read a script, and that's exactly right, Alicia. Uh, that these people, and that's what was happening in um, my 16 year old knows more about politics. Absolutely, um, it's sad. Uh, it's a sad reality. True, I think. It's uh, it's about generation is dirty. Well, I don't. Yeah, we yeah, possibly. President is r ir irrelevant. They're all scumbags. Well, it, 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 sometimes people may feel that way. Um, but I I just was I just was fl floored. Just absolutely floored. If she works for Chase, it wouldn't surprise me. No, she was with a big major uh, servicer, not really a bank, a major servicer. Um, but and again, I'm not. I'm not going to call him out. Uh, she, she was a very, very nice girl, very polite, uh, truly, and, and honestly, she didn't have to engage me in my questions. And, and she really didn't even understand, I think, why I was asking them. But, uh, but as she uh, knows, uh, the new generation knows it's bull. 
Well, bold though it may be, we still need to know who the heck the president is, who the vice president is, who your secretary of state is. I mean, uh, we need to know some basic elements, especially if you're working in the mortgage space, basic elements like what is an arm, what is an adjustable rate mortgage. I mean, these are, these, this, is, this is 101 stuff for that industry. Alicia, it was, it was a hoot. Uh, I, I don't want to ramble and belabor this, but um, she knows that the song is number one. <laughs> yes, well, she probably know, knows where Snooky lives, right? Everybody knows where Snooky lives um, in, in New Jersey, right? But not so much about the president. I probably should have asked her where the president of the United States lives. That would have been fun. So anyway, I'm gonna, I am gonna, I am gonna do an, uh, an outside scope this weekend. So keep an eye out for it because this is gonna be a hoot. You guys have a great one. Uh, I just had to put this on Periscope. By the way, that's a green screen behind me. We do a little green screen studio stuff here uh, at our home studio. And just uh, please follow us uh, uh, here on Periscope at G2 Realtor. You can also tweet me at G2 Realtor. You can tweet my wife at uh, Why Are You Renting? And you can email me at, uh, at yeah, email me at, uh, on um, uh, 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 my email address, g2realtor at gmail.com. Again, my wife and I are real estate agents here in Phoenix, Arizona. We have been in the industry nearly uh, three decades. We are realtors for Caldwell Banker Residential Real Estate. I'm also the Arizona State Director for the Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals. I had a ball. This was just so much fun. I need to go back and, and uh, even though I, I dragged it out to the end, it's only because it was so funny. I, when I was on the phone, I didn't know I was going to run into that kind of, um, I don't know what you call it. Just she wasn't there. VARep.net. Yes, that's right. Hey, guys, thanks again. Have a great one. Enjoy the day. Enjoy your weekend. I know it's a little early. Uh, I'll probably be back a little later. I got a class to go to here about one o'clock. But again, G2 with Caldwell Banker Residential Brokerage here in Phoenix, Arizona. My wife is Lori Clendera, and uh, we'd love to talk to you and, and answer any of your questions. Tweet us anytime. Talk to you soon. Bye.